it looks like the front door just opened. Oh, there's a lockbox on this unit. You want to grab the plate for me? I, I can't. There's the lockbox. Got it. Got it, partner. Um, he can't check because because he's flying his drone. You want to see if there's? I mean, there's a lockbox, so I doubt there's people here still. There's a lock. They're both locked. Yep. New Toledo, Ohio, guys. Now, this particular fourplex is priced so attractive because it is as de stressed as a distressed asset can get, man. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. What's a turnkey quad going to go for in this part of Toledo, y'all? 200, two and a quarter. Prices are pretty expensive these days. Maybe even as high as 250, all right? We have one for you as you can see at a monstrous monstrous discount. 333 Eastern Avenue, Toledo, Ohio, guys. Now this particular fourplex is priced so attractive because it is as de-stressed as a distressed asset can get, man. If you guys are going to become out-of-state investors, y'all, you need to know what you're doing. You need to have a plan of attack. And you need to have hardcore boots on the ground, okay? We here at Holton Wise, before we sell you guys anything, it is our number one, our number one priority to educate you. To show you what the game is all about. To show you the good, the bad, and most importantly, the ugly. Because I'll tell you folks, this is an ugly, dirty business, all right? There's gurus and crap. They do stuff like they're, you know, shooting videos or Instagram reels or whatever. And they're wearing three-piece suits and they're on planes and they're drinking, like, champagne. Dude. That's not what we do, folks. That ain't this business. Y'all are buying, like, low-income Section 8 apartments. And what's going to come with that is tough stuff, hard days, long work, blue-collar work. And if you go into this with the wrong expectations, you're going to get your ass handed to you, right? So that's why we have the Tenants from Hell show where we show you guys the worst of it. So if you've never seen the Tenants from Hell show, I highly recommend you check out those videos because if you go in unprepared, you might end up in the same situation this particular seller is in. This particular seller bought this property as an out-of-state investor uh, a few years ago. I, I don't know the exact details on the purchase. I you know was not involved till now, right? Uh, but long story short, she come to Holton Wise because she needs help. She needs out, right? Because she got herself all screwed up, uh, hired a bad PM, didn't get solid work. The property spiraled out of control. Her and the PM had a falling out. She's currently right now, as I talk to you guys, sitting there halfway across the country with no property management team in place, she has nobody working for her to handle any of her property management needs. And she's got a four-unit apartment building that is 100% occupied with squatters. Yeah, she's got no tenants, all squatters, four squatters. And at this point, she's like, James, this ain't my bag, dog. I, I'm not the say I'm not about this life, okay? This is not for me. Uh, I don't want to go through the process of hiring another property manager and just going through this. She's like, I just want it just I just want it gone. I want to move on. I want to cut my ties and I'm gonna piece the hell out, okay? So her loss, y'all, your gain. All right, again, look at the spread, folks. 200, 250, that's what these things go for, turnkey, right? You buy this. Obviously, it needs to be an as-is cash offer, and you're going to need to do a ton of work, right? You're going to, uh, you know, first, you're going to need to evict four people, right? 
well, four apartments full of people. We don't know exactly how many uh, squatters are in each of these units, but I'll let you all know something, a little secret here. See, uh, I've sold $200 million worth of this stuff. I eat, breathe, I eat, breathe, and sleep this kind of stuff, okay? I'll tell you this. Having all that experience, I'll tell you, they, they they run in fucking packs, man. They're like wild dogs, dude. So it's not like uh, you're just going to like go in there and like one unit's just got like some nice little old lady. No, dude. They're fucking like hyenas in there, man. There's probably like nine junkies in each of these units, man. Uh, it's going to be all type of messed up, right? Hence the price. Uh, so I would say this is going to be best served for... Investors who are not brand new. If you are a brand new investor, you've never done this before, you you don't even have property management contacts in Toledo, Ohio, this ain't your bag. You 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 probably don't want to mess with this. But if you're like a hardcore seasoned investor, you know the value here and you know the process of getting in and whipping some fucking squatter ass. I don't mean that literally, guys. Okay. I don't mean that literally. I'm a licensed real estate broker. Yes, I've evicted hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dirty, piece of shit, junkie squatters, but like never have I physically beat them, okay? That would be a real estate license violation and a crime. I would not do that. If you were to beat them, I would not encourage that behavior. So I mean that theoretically. You would beat them with the law or your friend Terry who's got a baseball bat and a bunch of tattoos on his face. Either or. I don't know what you're doing. No judgment. No, seriously, though, guys, do not commit crimes. That would be horrible. Do not beat the squatters. That would be horrible. It's not worth it, okay? Seriously, just jokes. It's not worth it. I get a lot of investors, too, that, like, they have, like, one property, and, and, and they get so upset when this kind of stuff happens. And they're like, oh, my God. And, like, you hear the stories where they're, like, motivated to go do violence. I mean, we cover that kind of stuff in the Landlords from Hell show and the Tenants from Hell show, right? Far too many uh, landlords have murdered their tenants and tenants have murdered their landlords. It's just not worth it, guys. It's just – it's really not worth it to get in confrontations or try to skirt the law. Like, yeah, the law, it's frustrating when you have, like, horrible junkie squatters who broke into your house and then you have to actually evict them like their actual tenants and it'll take a couple months. Yeah, that kind of sucks, but, like, guess what? What's cool about it is you don't get shot in the fucking face, right? Or you don't do 30 years because you shot one of them in the face, right? So seriously, guys, don't get out there and get aggressive. Do your evictions uh, the legal way. And once you finally get all these squatters out, you'll be able to get inside of the units and, and really figure out how much money you need. Like, you know, small units like this, can't really tell you because we were unable to get inside of them. But, like, you know, you're probably looking at, like, anywhere between, like, 20 and 30K a unit. All right? Something like that. Could be less. Could be more. Right? It's kind of the roll of the dice you take when you buy a building filled with squatters. Right? Uh, so that's why I think it's better for, like, seasoned investors. Um, we do have property management referrals for you guys out there in the Toledo area. We can provide them to you. Send an email to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. But again, I want to stress to you, if you're at the point where you don't even have property management contacts and you need a referral from me, that's fine. We'll be more than happy to set you up uh, with the teams we work with on the ground in Toledo because my office is like, you know, 90 minutes away. So I ain't driving my ass out there. Uh, and, you know, our techs and stuff, like, you know, we outsource some stuff when we get further away from home base here. But th the moral of what I'm trying to say is if your only means of getting a property management team for this particular property or to get a referral from me right now, I'd say this is probably too difficult of an investment for you to make, and you're probably not ready for this one, okay? I really don't think this is a great, uh, like, first-time investment, right? Like, you know, y'all got your sons, right? How many of y'all out there have a son? And you're like, I can't wait till little Jimmy hits a, a grand slam to win the game. Well, before little Jimmy hits a grand slam, little Jimmy has to, uh, like, learn how not to let the ball hit him in the fucking face, right? You got to walk before you could run, right? This is like a grand slam, you know, wham, bam, thank you, man, difficult deal, right? We don't want to start with this. We want to start with much easier stuff. So I would, again, say, see, and landlords, you guys know who you are. You guys are probably the people that could turn around this clusterfuck of an apartment building. Now, uh, as far as fielding offers, we will be accepting as-is cash offers only. No contingencies whatsoever. Now, we do have 
Uh, the seller has now put a lockbox on the common door of the building, and we can get you that code. Uh, when my film crew was there, that, that door was locked, and they did utilize that uh, lockbox to unlock that door. So sometimes that door is going to be locked, but, like, you know, there's four squatters running in and other. Sometimes it might just be open, right? So as far as, like, helping you guys get some type of access to do any type of due diligence, all we can really provide to you is going to be that lockbox code, whether or not that door is locked. Locked or not, when you arrive, who the fuck knows uh, whether or not uh, every single one of those unit doors is locked or not. Uh, when you arrive, who the fuck knows, uh, you know, whether or not some fucking psycho junkie pops out of the hallway and stabs you in the throat with a syringe. Who the fuck knows, guys? These are legitimate risks you take when you go tour an apartment building uh, filled with squatters, right? These... For those of you that are new to the game, squatters are not just like nice people. They're they're usually methed out fucking maniacs, okay? Uh, and that's just part of the game, right? So again, can't stress it enough. It's all about transparency here. I don't think this is good for the rookies, but for the people that see green, they see dollar signs. They see some motherfucker like, hey, man, what y'all doing here? They see that motherfucker and they go, cha-ching, 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 dollar signs. We're going to make money kicking that guy out and turning this building around for you folks. Just send your asses cash offers to my team. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Let's go. Yeah, it looks like the front door is open. Oh, there's a lockbox on this unit. You want to grab the plate for me? I can't. There's the lockbox. Got it. Got it, partner. Um, he can't check because because he's flying his fucking yeah. drone. You want to see if there's? I mean, there's a lockbox, so I doubt there's people here still. I'm sure we can figure it out. It's probably NFL. Uh, is that basement? Probably. I'm not going down there. Screw shot. Screw shot in the back too. Oh, it's a four combo box. Fuck. Oh, well, it's locked. <laughs> That's good. Now what? Is that the only thing <laughs> no. you can get one? Now what? I don't know. I'll peek up here real quick. Yeah, unless you want to know why it's locked. There's two more lock boxes up here. What? Lock boxes are what they're coming for. Well, this is what it looked like on the inside. Probably has this color paint, probably has this color trim, and it's probably got walls. Maybe, probably. Maybe, yeah, that's not a guarantee. Alright, well, we'll go and wait. We don't promise walls here. Probably also maybe has ceiling. Potentially. I'm gonna walk up over here. It's huge. Back here. And I think I can get far enough back to show the back of it. No property would be complete without a used tire by the fucking garbage can. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.